Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my wild backyard where it's chilly today and we've got two nights of frost coming. So it's time to do as much spring harvesting as I can. I know they'll come back right up after the frost, so it's not going to hurt a thing. We're going to be harvesting purple dead nettle. I'll bring you right back. Here we have beautiful purple dead nettle. It's the ones with the purple flowers and the purple tops. These look a little rough because they've been out here for a while. We're going to go over here to where there's some better. Looks like they got a little rust on them, but that's okay. That can be picked off. I got a lot of chickweed I need to harvest and make oil with, but I'm a harvesting purple dead nettle today because it's tincture making time. Yes, and I will bring you back when I'm at the shed and we'll talk more about the medicinal benefits of purple dead nettle and I'll see you in the shed. Okay, welcome back to the shed. I picked at least a half a three gallon grow bag of purple dead nettle. I am so happy to have this beautiful medicinal and culinary plant. A lot of people don't know that it's culinary as well. And let me tell you, it tastes delicious. So let's talk a little bit more about this amazing plant. And yes, I have saved a lot of the flowers that have fell off here's my pile of cleaned uh, purple dead nettle i've let it wilt down just a little bit so here we have a beautiful example i see there we go a purple dead nettle see how the top is purple now this is what you want to look for See those leaves? You don't want to use those. There's a few here and a few here. What you're going to do is pinch just up above those bad leaves. And ta-da. Put it in the pile. Now, my countertop here is completely sanitized and clean. That is why I can work on top of it. It is clean. So is my half a gallon jar because I make big batches. I have the lid and band, half a gallon jar, and a hundred proof vodka. This is another thing I want to show people. If you truly, truly have a gluten allergy, you need to read your bottles of alcohol very closely. See right there? Let's see, can I get it to focus? Distilled from grain. They are getting lazy. And it is getting harder and harder to get a hold of vodka made from actual potatoes. You can do it. But you're going to pay a little bit more. So if you truly have a gluten issue, an allergy, not just a choice of not to eat gluten. Because, well, our ancestors survived off of gluten. And that should tell you how messed up uh, our wheat and stuff is now. If, we, if a lot of people can't eat it, you know there's a problem. All right, off that salt, off of that soap box. Okay, now purple dead nettle has no poisonous lookalikes at all. Now some people will find their purple dead nettle. All of the leaves and top will be a dark purple, and when I say purplish. It's hard to find them with mine. But there's one. You see how dark purple that is? 
nothing wrong with the plant. Nothing wrong with the plant at all. It just means that the ground they are growing in has a phosphorus deficiency. The more purple the leaves are down, going down the stem, and I've even seen the stem purple as well, only means there's a phosphorus deficiency in your soil. Nothing's wrong with it. It'll just make an even more beautiful purplish light lilac kind of looking tincture nothing is wrong at all with them now the reason why they are called purple dead nettle dead not because they're poisonous dead because of the stinging hairs do not exist stinging nettle is their cousin you can tell, if I can get it up here, you see how the stem is square. That shows that they're in the mint family as well. But that's what you're looking for. The square stem, the purple, well, I'm going to fight with this camera. <laughs> the purple flowers, let me get a better one. Come on, I know I got swamp flowers fell off that one. There's a slight better. You can see the flowers on it. They're not quite that fuchsia. They're more of a purple. But see, nothing wrong with that plant. Now, we're talking medicinal here in a bit. Let's talk about culinary absolutely delicious you can uh pinch the tops off put them in soups you can dehydrate them to make tea later on uh you can use them fresh for tea you can put them in quiche and bake them you can oh my gracious they make a wonderful pesto as well so many different culinary uses for this amazing spring tonic plant now medicinal anti-inflammatory a light antihistamine as well uh, antibacterial sometimes antifungal it can be mashed up and put as a poultice on a wound to heal the wound. Now, if you have yarrow coming up, that's your best bet to stop bleeding, especially if the wound's bleeding bad, because yarrow is your bleed stop. This will heal wounds uh, mashed up into a poultice, or you can mix it, mash it up, mix it with yarrow to stop bleeding and heal wounds high in vitamin c as well iron and fiber um, i'll have more information in the description box below the video it's also a, a slight diuretic now if you just go wild and just go crazy eating a massive amount of it it can slightly be a laxative, so be careful. Don't be scared. I'm talking about it have to be a whole pot full of it cooked for it to be a laxative. It can be tossed into salads. It can be sautéed. This uh, also is a purgative as well. It has been studied as a UTI um, healer, but I look at cleavers and cranberry and so on more important as a UTI healer, but this is supposed to be good for it as well. And of course, I'll have more information in the description box below, but I just want people to see just, let me get a good one. I mean, they're all good. Don't get me wrong. They're all good. They 
as you can tell, my well, here's a good example. See how kind of purplish the stem is and the top? Not a whole lot of purple, but the top and the stem as well. I have fairly good amount of phosphorus in my soil, apparently. So, now, like I said, these can be a whole lot more dark purple. And I have seen the whole tops be purple. Nothing wrong with them. Just, you don't have a whole lot of phosphorus in your soil. So, let's get busy making a tincture. Yes, I use the flowers. Because I don't believe in wasting anything. Now, also, a heads up. After you have harvested them, and yes, for those who will ask, I have rinsed these off. I do not use soap because I'm making medicine with it. And plus, my whole yard is organic. There is no pesticides, chemicals, nothing used. So, you can rinse them off, let them dry, you know, set them aside, and make sure that there are no ants in them. Apparently, ants really love purple dead nettle. Now, I have a whole lot left, and that's going to be plenty for that jar. Do not worry, not one bit. This is going back into the bag with all the other clean ones, because, yeah, dehydrating them. Now... A lot of these are also seeds, but you want to see them black and dry. Because, yes, you can harvest seeds off of your purple dead nettle. Now, I said 100 proof vodka. I have clean, rinsed them off real good, let them dry, make sure the ants are all gone, and... See the pretty purple down here, the flowers. This will slightly tint your tincture, so do not worry. Not one bit. Your tincture will be fine. Ain't going to hurt it a bit. Just make sure that all the ants are gone. Now, I fought with the purple. I fought with the plastic lid on this while ago. Took it off while I could. And yes, I will top this jar off. I have more vodka in the house. It should have filled it up, but it didn't. And recycle your bottles. Now, you want to fill the alcohol up to your rim because the less air in your jar the less possibility of oxidation happening in your jar. And that is one thing you are trying to avoid. Put your lid on and your band real good and just agitate it gently. Move it around because you want to make sure air bubbles are out. Once you do that, and as you see, the alcohol level dropped down quite a bit more. Fill it back up to the rim. Alright, now we're going to label it. 
because once this has uh, soaked for the amount of time, your leaves will become very dull. Your flowers will not be pretty anymore. And you're not going to be able to tell what your tincture is. Unless you're only making this tincture, then it's fine. But you should always, always label your jars. Purple. Dead nettle. Tincture. Three. 12, 23. Yes, I have been busy this day. Okay, like I said, once the video's over, I will top this jar off. Because, yeah, I only brought one, don't know why, one bottle of vodka out. 100 proof vodka, everyone, because there is uh liquid and moisture in those plants in those stems and everything and another thing i forgot to tell everyone not only are the stems square they are also hollow like all your mint will be it's in the mint family it won't smell like mint but it is in the mint family okay after you've agitated it and made sure all air pockets are out Fill your jar back up to the rim. Label it. Put it in a dark, cool place. Agitate it gently every day, every couple days. And when this is eight done, it will be done in eight weeks. Does it mean that you have to strain it immediately? No. No, you don't. You can go a couple days over. You can strain it on the day that it's done. Not going to change anything. You can wait four months, eight months, a year. It's pickled, y'all. It's in 100 proof vodka. As long as you keep this filled up, I'm not going 100 proof vodka. It's pickled. It's going to have a very long long shelf life now for those who just absolutely insist on dosage amounts not happening in this video you know why you can't take this it's not ready not ready at all now in eight weeks maybe a tad bit longer i'll bring you back for the straining video always show people how to strain it and everything then then we will talk about dosage amounts because knowing dosage amounts now is not going to help you a bit because you can't take it it's going to be just like you know straight plain 100 proof vodka and that's not a pleasure to drink folks it's not so, when this tincture is done in eight weeks or a little bit longer, I will bring y'all back, I will strain it, show you what it looks like, and then I will talk about dosage amounts, but not till then. Unless you want to do research and find out what the dosage amount, go for it. But it's not going to do you a bit of good until at least eight weeks. Simple, easy, and yes, you can do it. I know people up north are probably aggravated as, as can be at me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm harvesting while I can. Now, we've got two nights of frost coming. That's why I'm harvesting the purple dead nettles. They may get knocked back. They may not. Now, I do know the ones... That have this rust on them it means they're just an old plant after our ice storm thawed everything went crazy growing now 
Here's the good thing about purple dead nettle. You can keep harvesting from it. You can even weed it, weed eat it back down. I will be because of it having the rust spots because we've had too much rain, cold, hot rain, hot, cold rain. Yeah, it's done a number on the plants. Plus, they have been up since before the ice storm. Things have gone crazy here. Plants don't know what to do. They are very mixed up. And this is going to be the year we're going to have to pay very close attention to them. Because they're messed up, y'all. Uh, here it is, March. Beginning of March. I saw poke salad up the other day. Oh, I saw poke salad up this morning when I was harvesting these. That's too early. Way too early. But get while you can. Now, you can just go by, take you a bowl, a grow bag like I had to, something to harvest them in. You can pinch the tops about that far down. Pinch the tops, so them in, throw them in. Just make sure that you give time for the ants to get out of them. Rinse them off. If it's been after rain, you really don't have to. It's up to you people. I know some people get panicky. You can eat them. You can make medicine with them. You can dehydrate them and make tea with them. Purple dead nettle. An amazing, amazing, another weed spring tonic too many people don't know the truth because the truth is hid because they don't want us to be self-sufficient anymore now i just tossed that piece into a compost bucket what you pick off even though it looks bad and everything throw in your compost pile don't waste it y'all any extra that you have Keep picking and harvesting them, y'all. Up north, you're going to see them. You just got to thaw out. They'll be coming soon. And you can harvest them as well. People further south than me, get to harvesting. I know they've been ready for a while for y'all. Simple, easy, homemade medicinals that will heal you and your family. Or your friends. You can do it. Believe yourself. Believe in yourself. All you need. Purple dead nettle. 100 proof vodka. A container of some kind. And patience. You can do it. If I can. You can too. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Stay safe. Stay sound and stay positive above all else. We got this. Continue to stock your pantries. Continue to stock your medicine cabinets. Continue to prep the important stuff that you're going to need. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Y'all got this. Stay positive. Take care, everyone. And may you each be blessed. I'll see you soon.